As you say, 17 years is a very long time. Um, had a great career with GSH. Um, moved around the business and, and learned a hell of a lot. Um, and obviously the, the latter part of my time was as co-CEO. Um, returned back from the state, having spent a successful time out there growing the business and, and having a great life experience as well with the family. And um, the last uh, you know, nine months, you know, the majority shareholder, Ian Scott Holden, decided that he wanted to delist the organisation and, and take private ownership, mm -hmm. um, which is all well and good. Um, so at that point, it seemed a, a natural fit for me. Um, Ian wanted to bring additional members of his family back into the business, and uh, obviously I had one uh, eye on a, a vision for the organisation moving forward. And uh, as I say, 17 years was a long time. So uh, I gave us a long, hard consideration and thought, well, maybe time for change now. You know, still 34 years of age, still got lots of time to make mistakes, and uh, this would be a good opportunity to, to, to break the relationship, really. Uh, it's been quite a challenging time coming back into to the UK. Um, a number of my peers had left the organisation, which was, was well, you know, well documented. Mm -hmm. um, so the team of, of six executives that had really grown the business yeah. in the last 10 years, um, I guess I was the last man standing. <laughs> um, so to come back in and, uh, and run the organisation was challenging without that sort of you know, expertise and, and resource available. Um, we'd been through a very tough period in terms of um, commercial activity, renegotiating a lot of contracts and winning a large a piece of business. Um, but at the same time having the challenge of, uh, of dealing with the delisting uh, and, and, and the sort of challenge with, with ownership in terms of uh, how to take the business forward. Um, so I think having known Ian for 17, 18 years, um, I think he appreciated that I guess time was, was right for both parties uh, to, to, uh, to change direction. So I don't think it was a great surprise, um, especially with, uh, as I say, as, as Duncan Skullhall was coming into the business as chairman. Yeah. I'd had a number of conversations with Duncan. And um, as I say, I thought it was a great opportunity post D-list end of an era, start yeah. of a new with the, with the, the family taking the home. Mm. Um, and it was all very amicable. Um, I was pleased that I got a, you know, a lengthy handover period of yes. which I helped. Um, as I've seen, got a lot of, uh, lot of friends and, mm. and a lot of family still in the organisation. Yeah. MSS as an organisation, um, in terms of a brand, is uh, around nine months old. However, the organisations and the talent and the customers within MSS go back 30 years. Um, MSS has been created through numerous um, acquisitions um, over the past uh, two to three years. So in terms of the skill sets, the experience, the customers, um, there's some longevity there. It's, it's not a new business in that respect. However, in terms of um, combining the skills and putting a strategy and, and putting a leadership and, and um, some um, you know, focus upon the markets, um, then that's almost, as I say, going back to uh, four years, five years ago when I arrived in a small office in New Jersey. Yeah. So from that respect, to build something new um, is exciting. Um, but this time I have the benefit of having an experienced team yeah. um, and an ex you know, a, yeah, a credible contract base, etc., to, yeah. to grow from. There's a long journey to take MSS. Um, we want to provide, we want to position MSS as, you know, a, a building services provider uh, of choice within the uh, the UK marketplace. Um, we want to grow organically. Um, I think you'll see some, you know, additional acquisitions um, along the way in terms of providing complementary uh, building services um, uh, skill sets to to our portfolio. Um, there's some geographical gaps um, that are apparent in the UK, in our UK um, service offering, mm -hmm. um, which we'll look to grow, again, through org organic or, or through acquisitive uh, um, areas. So, uh, yes, it's a considerable uh, piece of work to be done here, enough to keep me busy for a number of years yet.